Hello everyone. For my reflection today, let me focus on Jesus' words when he said, Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. And why so? Our reality today focuses and gives prime on what is temporary. Many people would even say, Walang forever. And we seem to draw ourselves to be satisfied with walang forever. Because despite our awareness that things are indeed fleeting and constantly changing, our impulse tells us to settle in the temporary and follow the latest trends. New wardrobe, new gadgets, new lifestyle, and even new relationships. As a result, we lose a sense of permanence, stability, of things that can endure time. Therefore, perhaps when you say walang forever and use it as a disposition, it can be a little problematic because it can give us the belief that nothing in this universe can endure time. But friends, there are things in this world that can endure time. If we root our motivations, our desires, our purpose, and even our relationships in God, it will persevere. Perhaps not in a way that we expect or understand, but it will endure time. It will persevere. After all, God's love and God's grace for each of us endure time. And I think it is the essence when Jesus said, Therefore, what God has joined together, let no one separate. And so, my dear friends, my forever. And that's one bite.